Hi, I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com and I'm so excited to be here on the UK Scrap Addicts um, YouTube channel and over on the blog and Instagram to share with you a really quick tutorial. As it's my first time here on the UK Scrap, Ad Scrap Addicts, um, I thought I would go for something simple, something that you can hopefully replicate really easy and in keeping with our monochrome theme. So I've created a simple um, mini album this would be perfect for when you want to treasure the um, the photos of, say, a day, a night, somewhere where you not have tons of photos, but you do have some. Um, so this is the album in the middle. We have flips on both sides. We have a space for pockets and for more photos or for memorabilia here. And the same on this side. Then when you open this up, we've also got space to put through some journaling and that's replicated on the other side too. So I'm going to show you what you need for this. It's not very much at all. I've decided to use very vanilla, so I wanted my monochrome to be... I didn't want to go for white, I thought that was just too clean, so I went for a cream, um, which is very vanilla. I've gone for some of this um, laser cut uh, patterned paper. Um, I've actually used a different sheet, so let me grab the sheet that I've used. So here is the sheet that I've used, it's white on one side, vanilla on the other. I'm going to show you how to stick this down with a really nice easy trick. And then to make the actual base of the album, I have got, um, I've used envelopes, so I've used two notelet size envelopes and two of the standard C6 size and these are all you need to make the base of your album. I've also, I also used some um, very vanilla lace ribbon here. So to make the base all you need to do is take two envelopes of the same size, open them up and you're literally going to slot these together. You're going to fold it over and make sure it's lined up nicely. Then you're going to take some adhesive. I'm using liquid glue Tombow, it's my adhesive of choice because it's just quick and easy to use. It's wet glue which means you're going to have wiggle room so you can make sure things are lined up perfect. But when it's stuck, it is stuck for life. So I'm going to show you the other, what to do with the other, album, um, other envelopes after, but first I'm going to show you how we can easily layer this beautiful um, laser cut paper. So for this all we're going to need is just the packet it came in. So this is just um, a cellar bag but obviously it's a big size for this one and we're going to take the base and just work out exactly where it's going to sit. So we're going li to line up the corners together and then we're going to be able to cut across the edges. So what we do now when we've worked out where it's going to be, we're just going to take some of this liquid glue, do a splodge, and we're going to take a cut off of a sponge, so just a small amount, and then, let's just move this forward so hopefully you can see, and we're just going to sponge up the card. Now because this is a clear silly bag, what you actually can do is layer it underneath, and then you can actually check that you're only covering the areas that you need. So sponge up the glue and you're just going to go over and carefully dab the glue over the surface. Now hopefully this should stay still and not lift up that much and then what happens then is the glue kind of stays in the right place so you don't get a really sticky side. It's really important to do the ones around the edges. I think that's giving it a good go and then all we do is pull off the sheet put that to a side and then we layer this down taking care to make sure that the side that doesn't have glue isn't going to be glued here and lay it on top and simply press down Now hopefully 
you have got everywhere you need covered. But I just pull it around, see if I can see. It looks like we've got most of it covered. We'll be able to pick up and add extra bits after. And now all we're gonna do is cut along the edge. And we're gonna cut away the sections that we don't need. And this makes a really nice crunchy sound. It's like cutting fabric with big scissors. And it's the small things for us paper crafters, isn't it? <laughs> so just gently cutting it away. Because it's laser cut, you don't really have an awful lot of cut. So there's not a lot of resistance because it's only, <laughs> you're only cutting really small amounts. And if you get to a side and it starts to get a little bit difficult to cut, just flip it over to the other side and you should be able to see um, from a different angle. Need to flip back to this side to see where I'm up to. Okay, so we can put that to one side. And now what we need to do is just have a look, see if there's anywhere where we're missing a bit of glue. And then we just add it to it, like here. It could do with a little bit more glue. So I'm just gonna apply it delicately and press down. Maybe that bit needs just a smidge more. And then we just bend this over And there we have it. This bit really does not want to stay stuck, so I'm just going to add a little bit with my actual glue pen. Thing is, a Tombow, you want to make sure that you don't have too much glue because otherwise the excess kind of spreads around. And then, because it's, it's a tacky glue, so once it's dry, it's tacky, it'll then get sticky, which you don't really want. So happy with that. So now let's finish the inside. So all we're gonna do is take the two other envelopes, we slot them inside, and we will then stick them down. But first of all, we wanna make sure they're in the right position. So I'm just gonna pull them down. What we want is for them to be slotted in um, and to have a nice border around the edge. So when you're content, Pull it out and just apply a bit of glue. We don't need an awful lot because this is really sticky glue. There we go. I've got this tissue paper, it keeps getting attached to me, so sorry for the crinkles. And that is our album. So over on the blog, I will have the measurements of the size for the photos. What I did with mine, and I actually printed the photos onto the same cardstock that I used um, to do the layering, so the, the journal cards. I printed my, my photos just on um, the very vanilla. And these are just four to a page when you just print on a computer. So you right click, press print, on photos and you can do photo page and that's all I did here. So this is the album complete. All you need to do is decorate it with some ribbon or some embellishments, whatever you want. I've actually decided that I'm gonna leave mine really quite plain because I really like the um, the pattern and I think with a monochrome, sometimes simple is just, is just best and I really wanted this to be something you could do really quick. So you had a really nice day out with a friend and you just wanted to let them know that you had a great time. You could just quite easily pop these out um, really fast and I think that sometimes that's <laughs> easiest um, and when we make things over complicated we don't get time to do it so by doing it nice and simple hopefully it fits the bill. So that is how to make a mini em envelope album. You could quite easily build on this so you could have multiples of them and create a bigger album. I just again wanted something really nice and simple. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I've so enjoyed my first challenge and I'm really excited for next month. Um, I would love to see if you have a go making one so please do post to the Scrap Addicts Facebook group. Also our um, Facebook page post over there. 
um, and leave us a comment below and subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. I've been Kaylee from Create with Kaylee and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.